Good old PlayStation 1. Ah! Hey, Smilky Shake! Welcome on by! Hope you enjoy the ziggurat. To be a place near you that lets you bring your own bottles to fill up on beer, etc. Just carrying a gallon class growler. Damn! I certainly liked, uh, I was in Europe for a period of time, and I really liked how they handled uh, their beer purchases, because you'd have sort of like a, a crate kind of thing, and you'd pay like a deposit or whatnot, but you would get a refund if you brought back all the bottles with the crate. And I think it's a really good way of getting people to ensure they're recycling and bringing their bottles back. Also... Um, I just like the, uh, the German, or, but, like, just Europe's bottle, like, the, the, the pop-top kind of things that they had, rather than the, or the, like, the lever top. Maybe you're welcome, looking at my Twitch recommendations, so you haven't been, been joining the vibe. Aw, always fun seeing, uh, new faces, but thanks for stopping on by. Um, if y'all don't know, especially since it seems there's some new people, uh, Valkyrie Profile is an old JRPG, uh, PlayStation 1, as you might have seen, and it is one of my favorite. Um, we're kind of in the last quarter of the game. I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna get to the end game today. Uh, we have a couple more chapters before, like, the end, end, uh, stuff happens. Um, but pl the plot, capital P plot, is kicking into high gear. Oh, you know those games that never play them? Valkyrie Profile is frustrating. SRPGs. I don't know off the top of my head what S stands for, now that I think about it. Um, there, it's similar somewhat to, Val to Valkyrie Dragoon. Uh, Legend of Dragoon, um, where your characters are mapped to different uh, face buttons. And so it makes combat very flexible. And very rewarding to be good at because the attacks and timings are different per character. I think there's, uh, if you play on hard mode, because there's some characters that are hard mode only, um, you get like about 21 characters. Uh, so there is a lot of flexibility. Sorry for the one. Absolutely no problem, John, neither. I have, I have the exact same problem when I'm on the other side of the screen. So I would be a hypocrite if I was to have anyone for the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might be confusing it with uh, Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I think that's, that's a common one that people interchange between Valkyrie Profile and, and that. <laughs> Most of your companies used to do that bottle thing and then switch to plastic, and then people started leaving those everywhere. There's zero incentive to return them. Companies started running. Yeah, blame it on the litterers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, um, the thing I've been doing in this playthrough is we're doing 100% all characters. So we're visiting all the dungeons, we're getting every character, we're using the characters, there's one exception of a character, but he's just absolutely rancid, and is also a terrible character, so I, I, fuck him, I don't care about him. Um, thankfully we've already passed it, so we don't have to deal with that, we only have good characters from there. Now the thing is... If you don't know Norse mythology, Valkyries are the... They gather souls of the dead. So all the characters we get have perished. Which kind of means, in a lot of ways, the game has a lot of tragedies. But... I feel like it still does a really good job of telling the stories of various peoples throughout this world that we're in. And I find a, a little bit of hope as we go through Lenneth's overall story. Um, hard to explain some things because we haven't gotten to them in the game, so I don't want to spoil events. Uh, but it's there's a reason this game is really my number one favorite game uh, for a long time. It's actually the first game I ever speed ran, just casually. Uh, never submitted for, but I love it a lot. Uh, and I'm really frustrated that every time Tri-Ace has ported it, it has been with zero quality of life changes. And we get another raid. 
Hi, Raiders. Welcome on by. <laughs> oh, this is a hell of a start today. Fuck me. Did I not... Did I not change the title? Did I not change the title? Hey, Drecky, you know that one job you're supposed to do? You're supposed to do that one job? That one job that you're supposed to do as a very awesome and professional streamer? Drecky, you should change- you should do that thing. Where you have the right category and title. Alright, uh, we'll change that. All right, all right, we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Don't mind me, don't mind the worm. I'm a very professional streamer. I know exactly what I'm doing. Everything's intended. I meant to do all of this. And all right. Hey, Aurora. Thanks for bringing your people on by. Hey, Viral Liar. Hey, Bing Seeker. Holy bull. Damn, we have got a lot of fresh faces today. That's damn. Well, welcome on by. If y'all don't know me, I am out of screen. I'll just leave it normal. Drekki Ormer, the Draconic Serpent, the Flightless Dragon, or simply a worm on the internet. Playing some video games. Today we're playing Valkyrie Profile. Um, Aurora, I hope you had a good bit of fun in Deep Rock Galactic, but now is your chance to sit back and rest. You know, get up and stretch, leave a piss, take a water. Um, I will entertain and scuff things up in your stead. Thank you for bringing your people on by. Welcome to the Seeker Up, Bing Seeker. <laughs> um, where was I? Right. So, you had a lot of fun with goobers in chat. Nice. That is always, always the funnest. So, uh, we just got to this new chapter. So the first thing we usually do is we want to get all of our characters in dungeons found. So we do this soul concentration thing. All right, so we got a character. Which character is this? Let's... Okay, I know who this is now. Grab some chili, believe you want to. Ah, chili is always great. Um, also, fun, fun little Easter egg. The English voice actor for uh, Mistina, that character, uh, whenever you hear her say things, uh, she might sound familiar if you've perhaps watched Pokemon, because it's, uh, it's Jesse's VA. <laughs> All right, let's head to High Lawn, the not Japan, to get our first character of this chapter. In war, there is both purity and filth. That armor, it must make it difficult to see the blood on you. I mean, yeah, that's the point of it being red. Concerned only with appearances and disguising the truth, it suits you indeed. You're wrong! I... I... Maybe, uh, don't drop your weapon, dude. What's wrong? Everything all right, Swell? Yes. Nothing to report. Ellipsis. I mean, with you, so... Look. I know you weren't very eager to take this mission, but... Just don't think about it too hard. It's simple. We're here to investigate a village supposedly packed with warriors disguised as non-combatants. But... Our intelligence isn't wrong. Huh. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. What a... Mmm. Hitting, uh, hitting a little too close to, uh, real life here. How are things elsewhere? Sir, 
The town's occupation is nearly complete, sir. I see. Or like occupying the ashes. St stay back. <laughs> All of you, hurry up! Get out of here! Ellipsis? No! I won't! I won't let you have them! Ellipsis. What's this? So that was a character we've got previously, uh, Shiho. Um, a lot of the characters and stories intertwine. When he, she was an enemy combatant uh, that he captured, or more like she surrendered and gave up, and his superior just instantly killed her rather than, you know, keeping her captive. But he's conflicted because he fights to protect those, uh, his friends Why and family. You fight? But I was thinking. The war isn't what he thought it was. Thinking. War never is. I was trying to figure out how it all came to this. Raising swords against women and children. We say it is right for our objective is just. But how many defenseless people have been slaughtered? All I wanted to do was protect the very ones I cut down. All I wanted to do was protect the people who could not protect themselves. Yeah. He may have joined to for for to do good, but the war machine has no soul. You are too soft. Whoa. Let us go. All right, now if I've done everything right, we should also have another cutscene. Maybe now? Yes! All right! Locked in the true ending, baby. It is insane. Valkyrie is Valkyrie. She's not Platina, but... Lucian, what are you doing in this place? Oh, nothing special. Come now, something is troubling you. I could well understand if that's the case. Incredible. You can't hide anything from you. It's true that much has happened. I may be... I may be a little confused. Yes? What else? And the truth is... Yeah, the EPs. Yeah, Chibi Geek made them. 
I have I have some plans for whenever I go back to playing some Rain World. But in the meantime, we have little EP EP slugcats for emotes and things to throw at me. <laughs> Valkyrie? She's beautiful, isn't she? A bit cold, though. Well, farewell. What are you saying? You can't believe that you and Leonard could actually be together! Yes, yes. Well, it's okay. It's nothing to hide. The known facts. Her true name. The task given to her. And her existence. Like a human, to reincarnate after death. Like a god, to live forever. Like an undead, to be free from the wheel of time. Valkyrie sleeps in the form of a human. When needed, she returns as a goddess. And then she sleeps again. Form of a human? That's right, but... Lenith, she has no memory, you know. Ah? Oh? No, no memory? That's right. I always try to get her to talk about her human life, but it seems that my sister, Freya, has sealed off her memories. Sealed her memory? Her human memory? Her duty as a Valkyrie is primary. If her human memory remained, it would only be an obstacle to that. Oh, I think I said too much. I just want to forget, forget it all. Lucian, what is it? No. It's... nothing. Ellipsis. How can I give her back her memories? Huh? It's impossible! It was Freya herself who sealed off her memory. The only ones who could break the seal are Freya or Lord Odin. You have spoken too much, have you not, Frey? Besides, didn't Lady Freya call you to come? I like Loki's headwear, the little crossed ribbon kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Platina is really Valkyrie? Isn't there a way to return her memory? <laughs> is there something else you want from me? Although it may be there is no direct solution, there is another way. Huh? But as you might expect, removing the seal from her memory is not an easy task. However, I believe that perhaps you can at least speak with Valkyrie if you wish. What will you do? Lord Odin is able to contact Valkyrie on a regular basis. Do you know how it is done? Lord Odin uses the water mirror to communicate with her. So you mean, if I use the water mirror, I can contact Valkyrie? Exactly. But, will I be forgiven for such a thing? I couldn't really care less. But if you think about it, you can't really believe anyone would punish you for something like using a little mirror. Remember, always take advice from Loki. Loki will always be true and never steer you wrong. A very upstanding, honest character. Uh, really hard to besmirch in the Nordic pantheon. And uh, 
pay no mind to the screen, focusing on just that weird little orb. Uh, I'm sure that doesn't matter. I, uh, nah, just kind of, yeah, just kind of a shiny thing. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get over to the mirror real quick. Is this it? What do I do? Close your eyes and concentrate. Think of her. That's all you have to do. It's not like he's the god of tricks or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm pretty sure Loki's the god of... Do you hear me? It's me, Lucian. He's the god of matchmaking. You know, that's why he's helping out Lucian. Valkyrie, do you hear me? Damn it, Valkyrie, don't send me to voicemail. Valkyrie. What happened here? You think I will forgive you for taking such liberties? I know you won't, but... Lucian, what is this? I'm going to send you one of these earrings, and I want you to take it. But the other one is hidden somewhere else. Sign the earring. That's why you use the water mirror? Gave me a fetch quest? It wasn't really the earring that I wanted to give you. But I thought if you accepted it, maybe... No. I know that you'll figure out where the other earring is. How will I? You dare to order me to go treasure hunting? I mean, to be fair, you we have been cool. keeping all the artifacts. Now that you have done this, have you any idea of the repercussions? This was... This was... Unforgivable! Oh, shit! Uh, why? Why did it have to come to this? Damn, Lucian got bitch slapped. Have you finished your goodbyes? L leave me alone. I cannot do that. Huh? Come, Lucian, I've pondered the orb. Witness my magnanimous power! Th that form. Loki? You should have no regrets, and I, I am satisfied now that the Dragon Orb is mine. But the blame for stealing it shall have to fall on your shoulders, Lucian. What? <laughs> and the best part is that I shall be the hero for killing you. Forget about it! I'll never let it happen like that! I'm not ready to die just yet. All right. We are going to save. So that is the major cutscene. We needed to see that uh by seeing that cutscene, we are locked in to the true ending. So now, it doesn't matter what I do, um, as long as my evaluation doesn't drop to zero, but that's, that's not going to happen. Um, the trigger for that, and it is why getting the true ending is such a pain in the, pain in the ass, the seal value has to drop below 37 on chapter... Uh, seven by chapter seven. Uh, I think it can also work on chapter eight, but like chapter seven is the earliest the cutscene can be triggered. Um, you need to have sent Lucian on chapters five or six because Lucian has to be up in Valhalla to trigger the cutscene. Uh, you have to have fought and beaten Lazard, or actually, yeah, you have to beat Lazard in chapter four. And you have to have recruited Mistina in Chapter 5. 
Um, so it's just a lot of myriad things that you have to do. Um, in addition to like drive the seal value down, uh, that is also hard because sending characters to Valhalla gives you about 12 to 24 points if you send one or two. Uh, the way to decrease it is there's various events that really tank your seal, uh, your seal value. Additionally, uh, anytime you recruit a character, you lose two seal value, um, which is why after we recruited Swo, uh, that brought us just barely below the threshold, um, which immediately triggered the cutscene. So thankfully, we don't have to do anything else to trigger it. But let's go ahead and continue on soul concentrating. Go ahead and find the rest of our dungeons and the rest of our characters. We're already gonna have another character from the Arcdane Ruins. Which is a special hard mode only thing, uh, a hard mode only character. Forest of Spirits, all right, so I remember that. That's gonna be, Forest of Spirits is an interesting dungeon uh, that we actually will have to do twice. also going to be a dungeon I am definitely going to pull my notes up on because there's a very annoying puzzle. Cave of Oblivion, all right, obligatory, obligatory. I'm trying to remember what characters were missing. There's one character I can think of, but I believe they are a dungeon character and I think they're chapter eight. Tombs of Amenti. Okay, okay. Is that it? Okay, that's all of our discovery. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our sorceress. from the Arcdane Ruins. I'm not sure if I have to run there or if just going to Arcdane will... Of course. Gashunk. Yeah, let's just run and get the character. Um, just gotta remember the way to... No, I gotta go down. Wait. Ah! Enemy in a chest! To my side, my That's fine, I get to show off uh, the combat. So the saying each of the characters is mapped to a different face button, so then we can press the face buttons and makes them attack. Leading to very flexible combos. Uh, really don't like our party makeup right now, if I'm going to be honest, so once I get our characters, we're going to change things up. And we didn't need that. There's one item we're majorly missing, and I don't remember where the hell it is. And it's kind of, kind of slightly driving me crazy because it is very, very useful. It is one of the most useful skills. Don't need it necessarily. We're pretty well leveled. Um. Wait, what am I doing? I can open up the map. All right, that was not useful at all. Never mind. All right, we need. Ah, I fucked up.
Come on. There we go. Damn it. All right, that's not the right way. Never mind. So I guess it's to the right. There we go. O oh, vaunted sorceress, Lady Lyseria, by the decree of Odin, Lord of the Gods, I have come to call upon you. Wake up! You've slept too long! You are a chooser of the slain. The battle maiden. Lady Valkyrie. I believe this is also the VA for... My master has need of your power. Uh, Misty. If I may beg or not Misty. Jesse. Join me. I could not control my power. I was in despair. I took my own life and sealed myself within these ruins. There is no place for me in this world. Indeed, any world. For so long I have hoped and prayed for someone with the strength to obliterate me. Hey, hey yo. Valkyrie, shall you be that one? Shall you be the one to extinguish my pain and sadness? Oh, I don't remember having to fight her. Me, dog warriors. Battle awaits us. Even in the face of defeat, I shall never surrender. Alright, uh, not much of a fight. Me, me gearing up for a, uh, a boss battle and she's like, oh, oh, that's it? Oh, thank you for the head pots. All right, so we've got our two characters. Um, we still need to send two characters for this chapter. Um, I think it would be funny if we could send Badrack, but I don't believe we can. Uh, let's try, just because it would amuse me. Um, party, XP orb, or actually, change equipment. Uh, let's, I'm going to swap her out. I'm going to swap her out. So I want to give him his emerald necklace. Yeah, emerald necklace. XP orb, bad rack. We'll give him seven thousand. Not ability, uh, skill, traits. Ah, he gets the positive hero value. All right. Yeah, nowhere near enough. Uh, we need people that are at least 110 hero value to be able to send them up. So this chapter, we need 110 hero value. Uh, they're wanting undead intelligence, high level sorcerer, avoid and magic resist. Um... Our only high-level sorcerer would count 
is the character we just got, uh, Lysaria, but I don't want to send her. So that's not going to happen. Um, I kind of want to go back to using double caster. I need to swap in Suo. Um, so I can send up Gray and Jail. I think that's going to be our best pair. Actually, let me grab Alia. Get her some more levels. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I I do like gray. I'm trying to remember. Because I don't think we get... I don't think we'll be getting any of our party members back. Which is why I'm not... I don't want to send Ayla up. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters. So I'm absolutely wanting to use her in the final battle. I also want to use Arngrim just because it's poetic. Which means I would only have room for one caster. But I can't send Mistina up. So yeah, I think I think the I think the play is going to be. Actually we can't send Grey up, can we? Oh we can. Oh holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, Grey's Grey's pretty good. Alright, so let's... what do we need? We need Undead Intelligence. Got Resist Magic already. Uh, he's got Avoid already. It's fucking... He's got skill points to spare. We'll just spend it on everything. He's got Tactics. He can hear noises. He can find traps. Identify, leadership, trick, march, formation. Full Metal Alchemist got them all, baby. This dude's gonna be so fucking prepared for uh, Ragnarok. All right. Um. Not what I meant to do. Hold on. Sacrificing. All right, because he has sacrificing, we need to give him an item. Where is it? Teachings of Vilthanus. So characters with the trait sacrificing have a risk of dying in Valhalla on battle. But if you give them teachings of Bethanus, it will negate that chance. So we can do that. We also need to swap out his items. The teachings of Bethanus. Uh, let's give him just some generic weapons and armor. Good shit. All right, so Gray is ready for transfer. Now let's get Jail set up, as fun as it is to do a shitty Fiora impression. Uh, because she's a fencer, so she longs for that worthy opponent. Uh, she does not have an attack set I vibe with, to be honest. I still love the concept of this game, leveling up characters just to fight without you in a war. Someone needs to yoink the idea of, yeah! Like, such, I love it so much. It has so many good ideas, and it's just relegated to history. Uh, they don't remake it, they don't iterate it. Like, all, they've made a few other games using the Valkyrie Profile franchise, but they're not Valkyrie Profile. Like, one of them is like a Final Fantasy Tactics sort of game, that like isometric sort of thing. 
but like you're not playing as Valkyrie. It doesn't have the same kind of like leveling and you know system like that. There is a recent like third person hack and slash sort of thing. I don't, I don't I can't remember the genre. It's not it's not like when I say Dark Souls, I don't mean it's like Dark Souls difficult, but I mean it's sort of like you running around in a world, you know, slashing things up, sort of like in the Dark Souls-y way. Um, let's make sure she doesn't have anything really good on her, like that Icicle Sword. Uh, you are going to give that back, young Missy. All right, the jail is time for you to go to Valhalla. Where there will be many, many foes to that. Uh, I think she needs Bethanus as well. They took Baldur's Gate 3 level risk with this series, just made a modern version, I'm sure it'd be praised for decades. Yeah. Yeah. If only, if only. Alright, so that's our two characters. Uh, I send two characters because one, that's the max we can send, and two, that'll get us the most rewards. But this is the last time we're sending characters. Uh, because in next chapter, we will be going to the end game. Now, we need to get our characters, our new characters, set up. Thankfully, and you might have seen me use this, this XP orb, um, events and certain things in dungeons give you, like, a pool of XP to distribute as you will to level characters up. Which is really useful because in the hard mode difficulty, all characters start at level 1, which is actually an advantage. Uh, it's one of those things, like, it seems like a disadvantage, but if you know the game and know the systems, um, it allows you to have better stats than a character would otherwise come with. Is the company still around? Oh yeah! Yeah, the it's Tri-Ace uh, for Squeenix. Uh, they also do... They, like, they mostly focus on one of their other IPs. Um, they're st I mean, they're still kicking around. Uh, the, the most recent game was, was Valkyrie Elysium, but again, um, it's, it's not like this game. It's not like real Valkyrie profile, in my opinion. Um, it also had uh, De Nuvo, uh, uh DRM, so fuck that shit. Don't want that shit on my computer. Alright, so let's go ahead and get her set up. We want first aid, auto item to three. Phoenix Downs, 100%. Uh, we need weight reaction. So casters can do something outside of combat. Uh, we need magic power. We need resist magic. We need to resist damage. Um, let's switch one of her things to a bracelet of Zoe. Actually, let's switch both of them, because that'll give her a little bit more HP, and we're going to get her up to, like, level... F I don't know about level 15. That might be a little too much. Uh, we'll eyeball it. So that should be five. Seven. Nine. We have plenty of XP orb to go, though. But the thing is, is I kind of want to hold on to some of it because I want to dump a lot of it, like, at the very end game just to get some final level ups uh, when we go to the final boss. But we're at the point in the game that I don't need to put any points... I don't need to worry about saving points for tra for traits. Because we're not sending anyone else up to Valhalla. So I can dump everything into stats. Um, and also, just raw levels is very important for damage calculation. Never heard of a single one of their games. Really? 
Most people have at least heard of... Their other major franchise, I think, is much more popular, which is why they don't really do much with Valkyrie Profile. Um, its name escapes me off the top of my head. I keep wanting to say Star Ocean, but I don't think that's right. Uh, so let's do another 50,000. And... 500... Lucky level 13? That should be maybe enough? Yeah, that's enough. I can match out Defend... and Avoid. Eh, close enough. Um, what spells does she have? Mystic Cross, Might Reinforce, Guardian... Alright, alright! Uh, we do need to get her heal. If I can find it. I need to make a heal, actually. Oops. Use... Eel. Lysaria. Star Ocean? Yeah, Star Ocean. Never heard of it. Yeah. I mean, they. I know they have Valkyrie, like, show up as a cameo in, like, their post-game. Like, I think one of the things they do is they often have crossovers with all of their games in their post-game stuff. But... It's not enough. Just not enough. Alright. Now we need to give you some good shit. Uh, Robe of Britain. Um, let's leave the Bracelets of Zoan, and we'll give you a couple Coins of Fortune. So you can get some rapid levels. Um, Alia, you could use a Power Bangle. And a Mighty Check. Uh, yeah... Uh, we can remove the dimension slip because we do want to have combos. Directly, I can't stoop that low. They need the moral choices and super cool mechanics. <laughs> exactly. Um, let's see, what kind of weapons could I create? Ah, an, an all an all piss. Ah, yes. I mean, it has high damage, but it only has one attack. Heart Piercer has three at 150. Um, so Holy Halberd is technically better. Saber Halberd even better, actually. We'll get that. Uh, what does it look like for bows? Yeah, it looks like shiny rupture is the best. I feel like there's something about bows I'm forgetting. But, oh well. Uh, we do, are we are going to need a... Weapon for our new swordsman when we take Swo out for a spin. Uh, we can give him one of these blades. Ah, the Miramasa and the Masa Moon. Let's give him the Masa Moon. Um, let's make sure Ayla is up to date on her stats. Yeah, we've gotten 
Gotten a few new skills since we last had Ayla in the party. Let's go ahead and get her up to speed. Muramasa from Terraria. I mean... It's not strictly from Terraria. I think Valkyrie... Ooh, never mind. We got some miscellaneous stats we can still max out with her. I don't think Intelligence does much for melee characters, but Agility, I believe, helps her in Archer form. Uh, let's get Triple Distress. What happened to Little Snake Eye? I decided it would be very Odin of me. But I don't have any eye patches. I just have this bandage. So I just... <laughs> I just put this on instead. <laughs> that, that is... That is as far as my thinking went. <laughs> Alright. Um, actually... I want to see Sacred Javelin. It's been a minute since I've seen that one. I want to check it out. Let's go ahead and save. Um, both of these dungeons have their quirks. Let's do Forest of Spirits first. So this is the viewpoint of a god. Nice, you are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how I can see what everything's going on. You know, we're just floating above behind Valkyrie and following her as she goes around. Ow. All right. Time to chop to down some summit. vegetation. This much it is far too dangerous. Take that. Oh, I think we killed that plant. I have heaven. Maybe you can replace your missing eye with that. I wish. Ah, oh, right. That's what Sacred Javelin does. Baby drill! Alright. Um, and that's why I don't usually use Sacred Javelin. That's right. The problem is, is that it it drives them down in sort of a semicircle area, which unfortunately causes some of them to miss. That's one of the fun little quirks of this game, is a lot of attacks are very like, not all of your attacks hit. Uh, they they have sort of a fixed distance they're gonna travel, and if that hit if that crosses the enemy's hitbox, you know then it hits. But if it misses, then uh, you're fucked. These freaks look like trouble. I want to see if we can get all three in one round. All right, good shit, good shit. All right, we failed to finish all of them off. Yar, fuck. Mmm, not good. Reminds you a little bit of Darkest Dungeon's attack range mechanic. Hmm, never actually played Darkest Dungeon. Take that. 
I've seen it played a lot. I just never picked it up myself. I know they had a sequel. But a cry from Angie, I would suggest it. <laughs> work is done. I do know it has like a sanity mechanic, so those games tend to be kind of oof sometimes. Alright, next battle we need to make sure to heal before doing anything. Thankfully, healing is not a flat amount, it is percentage based in this game. Alright, we have four plants this time. So I think we're gonna go for a bit of AoE damage. And then the game chugs as it tries to render all the animations. Oh, fucking Mistina from the top rope, shredding all of the plants with holy energy. Calling down the north, south, east, west, and the sun. All the stars of the sky. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. I love a good battle. Mystic Cross. Yuck! I guess I didn't need to do that. Uh, Mistina could have handled it all of her own. Nice, nice. Ha, ha. Ha, take that. Brew! Alright. Yeah, Ayla's... Not only is Ayla not as high-leveled, uh, honestly, polearm characters don't really have the highest damage. But that won't stop me because I'm breaking this game over my knee, so I don't need to be hyper-efficient. I could just use the characters I think are neat. The enemy is vanquished. Second is certainly one of the games of all time. <laughs> all right. Welcome, Battle Maiden Valkyrie. You wish something from me? It is easy to become lost in the forest beyond here. Even one such as you may become lost here. Come, I will be your guide. Ah, what a lovely surprise. What brings you here, Battle Maiden? I have a command from Lord Odin. I wish for you to repair a broken artifact. A broken artifact? That's correct. I want you to repair this accursed flame gem. Repair this, yes? Hmm. It appears its gem has been cracked. Can you repair it? No, or perhaps... I should say, not right now. What do you mean? I don't have the tools I need to fix it. Eh? A cursed flame gem was imbued with its special powers by Fafnir, the mighty fire dragon. At this moment, the crystal merely has a crack in it. It would be impossible to recreate this gem, but if you want to repair, the gem's power must first be released, and then once again recrystallized. However, I do not have the tools necessary to perform the rec recrystallization ritual. What are they? A golden candlestick is needed for the recrystallization ceremony. A silver thread is needed to rebuild the matrix. Polar drops are needed to purify the space. Finally, a charm feather is needed to fix the magic and pace. Those four tools. Where can I find them? Polar drops are in the forest fountain to the south. You can get the silver thread if you defeat the great spider in the cliffs northeast. Golden candlestick was stolen away by the giant ape that lives deep in the forest. To get these items will surely be easy for one such as you, Battle Maiden. What is it? Is there a problem? 
Cockatrice. A beast with the power of petrification. That is correct. The most important item, the charm feather, is a feather from a cockatrice. In order to retrieve one, naturally you must first defeat one. So if I gather these items, you'll do it, eh? Are you leaving? Yes. The cockatrice nest is to the northwest. Be careful, battle maiden. Our style is interesting as well, very unique and still holds up. Absolutely, I agree. Thank you for the head pats. Oh my god, it's numbers. Hold on a minute. There's not a single number in that handle at all. It's all letters. Stretch. Fine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. Thank you, Glottal. And for the Wawa. That may have been the point when I made this fame. <laughs> Cheeky little shit. It has been many, many ages since anyone other than us has been in this forest. Oh! Did we fight it? Did we get it? To my side, my noble Einherjar. This map. All right. So these enemies can destroy equipment. So we're just gonna we're just gonna not drag this battle out. They're also a very low enemy, so a lot of attacks go over them. Viscous Clot, yeah. Some of the enemy done. names is pretty, pretty great. Even if they're palette swaps, uh, they sometimes have some pretty amusing names. You found heal! Alright, nothing up there. I remember this place being a veritable maze. What the? There is something hiding in the trees! Palette swapped enemies in my RPG? More likely than you think. Okay, dude. How about you deal with this? Yeah, there is a lot of enemies in this area. I like, uh, just how things ended up panning out. Uh, both of our characters have the same voice actor. Both of our caster characters. <laughs> to my side, my noble Einherjar. I love a good battle. Mystic Cross. See? And see, this is in hard mode in the end game. Like, it's not that hard. It would be even more silly if I was only using uh, set characters, and then all my characters would be like that. This could that viscous clod is falling on my head. God damn it! Uh, all my characters would be like level 26, rather than just a couple. To my side, my noble Einherjar. I've heard of this game before, but the music and sprite work is pretty good. I won't lose. Yeah, the uh, no! it was a PlayStation One game, and it didn't sell a whole lot of copies in America. Um, I think, I think. The most made was about 100,000 in the English localization. 
Um, and that's why if you go on eBay, uh, the discs are going for like $500. Yay. Mystic Cross. Feels like that goes for a lot of PS1. Yeah, that is true. A uh, combination of things not being in print and, you know, all that stuff. And even when they remake it, uh, or anytime they've re-released it, it's always been the PSV localization, which I highly recommend to not bother with. I would say if you're going to <clears throat> acquire Valkyrie Profile, I would recommend acquiring the uh, English localization for a few reasons. Um, the PSP, like, adds... It replaces some of the cutscenes with just jarring CGI, and I think the old-school, you know, anime sort of stuff and the, the pixel animations of the original game are much better. But also, the PSP is based more off the Japanese localization, which is missing the few quality-of-life things the game does have. Uh, so in the Japanese localization, they don't utilize L2 and R2. There's also a couple bugs that make uh, party management kind of annoying. Um, namely, so like, if you might have seen me like switching characters' equipment and giving them stats and stuff um, in the screen, in the Japanese version, you can only do equipment and stats of people in your active party. So you have to like actually swap people out of your party to be able to remove equipment from them or give them experience or send them up to Valhalla. Um, just little things like that uh, that are missing from the, J from the Japanese one. The only, I would say, quote unquote downside for the English localization is you know, for speedrunning purposes, uh, Japanese text is much faster, and in a game where there's no skip cutscene button, uh, that's... It, it adds up. Oh boy, does it add up. Um, also, there is one bug that I'm aware of that lets you save, like, 30 seconds to a minute that you can't do on the English localization because the bug just isn't present in the game. One of those things that got that gets fixed but is not actually mentioned. Yeah. What if I climb the tree? Do I got something up here? Yes, there is. A golden egg. Reflect sorcery. Nice. The game likes to hide things. You gotta, you gotta look around. Pay attention to your surroundings. You get terribly lost and get back to the beginning of the game. All right, there should have been something down here. I feel like it should have been this direction. What am I missing? That's not right. Hmm. Maybe I'm mixing things up. Fifty you only get in the PS1 RPGs, but you played quite a few once you got the PS2. Nice. Yeah, I had to 
I had to use friend's stuff, because I didn't really have a lot of, of consoles. I had like a... I had one briefly, and then uh, parents uh, bit the bullet on the whole Ugh, games make you violent, yada yada yada, that swept through the social consciousness, and then that became very no video games at all in this household. This is the polar fountain. The time's passing, the water is renewed. The time's passing, the fountain dries up. It is a place of mystery. Make a list of older RPGs to find and play. Ooh. I like how we just leave and come back and then the water's there. <laughs> Alright, so that's one out of four. Let me start heading back. Quabs! Ah. Otacon, some kind of cave demon. To my side, my double iron crab, crab battle! Hmm. These freaks look like trouble. Yeah. Crustacean yeah. monster. Um, rude. All right, they are very physically resistant. Noted. I love that video. Hey, a fellow person of discerning taste. Uh, let's see if we can kill this one with our limit breaks. Hmm, that's a lot of zero damage going on, not gonna lie. Yep, yep, that's uh, zero damage. Ayla, uh, turn into a motherfucking dragon. And give him an optic blast. Optic blast! Zero damage. Fucking crabs, man. <laughs> I won't lose. I mean, you say that, but we are kind of losing here. I may have fucked up. Um. Uh, please don't die, Lissaria. Damn it. These crabs be built different? Yeah! Yeah, they are. I mean, I could swap to a weapon that instantly kills them, I think. I am going to sneeze. All right, I think I got the mute button fast enough. Um, our characters might die. Let's go for a heal. heal. Next turn, Lysaria can kill the crustacean. Two games might have violent thing came around every few years or so. The answer is not even as bad as normal news. Other media, as you would assemble a new town, town of society. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, what was the, I think it was like Jack Thompson was, uh, one of the, those big lawyers. He got fucking, got his shit pushed in by, uh, Penny Arcade, if I remember correctly. That was pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, let's go for a AoE Mystic Cross. Hey, 
we're dealing one damage. It's fucking Valkyrie slowly, slowly getting pushed into the back line. It's uh, kind of frustrating how people can just mess with statistics like that, or their own narrative. You guys have some very tough shells? Yes, they do. It is kind of tempting to swap in Swo because they've got a weapon that would instantly kill them. Hey, Index! Ah! No! No! Hey, Index! Oh, thank you for that little, little, little uh, uh, monk plushie. One of these days, you're gonna get it right. I suppose I could maybe add some kind of time delays to make it easier for people to. Uh, 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 I'll line things up. It's like a Gamba. Well, that's certainly what random bullshit's like. But there's a lot of different things in there. It's like what? I think there's like one of each slug cat, and then like five or six other little items. Love Indivisible for the Makers of Skull Girls. I want to say I might have that on my wish list. You have served me well, my I, I need to go check. With Sail Rapier. Well, we've got rid of our Fiora, so I don't know if we're going to be using any more Rapiers. Another fucking crab. Hmm. All right, you know what? I know how to take care of this fight. To my side, my noble Ein Harry. I say these enemies make you crabby. No, I they're crabby. The so, you may have seen the limit breaks from my characters. Casters have two tiers of limit breaks. They have a normal magic limit break, and then. If you have the right weapon equipped, you can do great magic. So we're just gonna kind of send uh, lasers from God. We're just kind of fuck up their general vicinity. Let's see, uh, let's see how tough their shell is when, uh, fucking hit with rods from God. I think they're dead. I don't know if they're dead enough, though. I don't think they're dead enough. Let's go left first. More crabs! I thought this was a forest of spirits, not a forest of crab. Oh, fuck me, no! No, it timed out! Hold on, give me a second. Oh, frogs! Oh, 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 
Oh my god, it has so little health! How many forests have I been in? At least two! I think. Uh, we are just going to Mystic cross these guys off the bucket list. Guard Crush! Nice, it's fainted. Uh, what, what about you, Glottal? Have you, have you run into any, uh, uh, uh unsuspecting, um, crustaceans yeah. within the foresty depths? More than you can count. I'm looking at you like a bug. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. You should be leaning like crap! Oh no! Glottal! Have you carcinogenized? No! Go back! Return to Caracal! Don't... Don't look towards the hard, chitinous light! Return to soft, fluffy... Kipti! Personally, the first forest animal you think of is the... Okapi. Okapi. That one is not ringing a bell. I feel like it sounds familiar, though. Wait, I thought the phrase was that you, the observer, is the bug crab. I pray that you poor beings will one day know happiness. Now I'm questioning my own reality, Glottal. Because I see what you mean, but I had the opposite thought until, like, you just mentioned that. Snake the Crab. Well, uh, we're not playing Subnautica. You know, Subnautica had some poor, unfortunate snakes which carcinogenized. Um, Fs. Fs for those snakes. Poor bastards. To my side, my noble Ein I love a good battle. And great magic. We are not dealing with all these crabs. We are going to call down a celestial star. Pew from sky beams they fall. Destroy this area now. Both interpretations are valid, syntactically. <laughs> I will defer to you when it comes to linguistics. I just do mouth flappy things, and sometimes they're coherent. I choose not to understand half the things I say. I think that, that, that adds a little bit of a spice of unpredictability to what goes on. Sometimes you just start saying something and uh, you don't know where it's going. You just It's an adventure we all find out. To my side, my noble Ein Harrier. Ah, uh, yes. The wandering tree battle. crab falling from the high branches. Uh, an ambush predator. Ah, <sighs> the advantage of endgame items is dealing is having end-game solutions to modern pr game problems. And sometimes all you need is just a whole bunch of frickin' laser beams to uh, smite your foes. I think that would be helpful in a lot of life's problems if we had the ability to call down a bunch of laser beams from space. You know? Someone, uh, someone acting shitty? You know, laser beam from space. Someone, 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 uh, 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 
driving, driving kind of crazy. Laser beam from space. Someone eats the last cookie in the box. Laser beam from space. Believe it or not. I think that was an up arrow. Yeah. I go back to the back. Go back. Ah! Ah, the bees! You sons of to bitches have life. returned! Don't you fucking do it! These freaks look like trouble. Yeah. Someone blocking your light. Space laser. It's a good light source. <laughs> it's like a giant laser pointer. Just very briefly and in one area. Mystic cross. The one enemy where actually having archers would be useful. But instead I'll cast magic. And you know what? That's good enough for me. Fuck! <laughs> I think two steps! Two fucking steps and there's more god damn beetles! Give me my purple orbs. All right, now my casters will fuck you up. Actually, hold on. Never mind. I thought I could, uh, wait. No. I thought I'd spell reinforce. Just so I could really give them a good old fuck you. You need to work on a science project? Laser beam from space! It's a, it's a, good, it's a good tool for uh, photons. Ha! I don't think I swung fast enough. To my side, my I was like, I know there's gonna be more. I fucking know there's gonna be more. Ah, ah, yeah. Ah. That was a terrible Mystic Cross, but I guess it worked. And another one. To my side, my noble Ein Herjar. I won't, I won't, ah! I won't, I won't, ah! All right, those beetles are uh, mean. Mystic cross. Be beetleness. I tried. I tried to port Mano, uh beetle and business, but I just. I just fumbled it. Now you know why I have a bandage on my eye. All these damn bees. They be stinging me. Why is she just standing there? Shouldn't she be doing some pest control? Oh, slag me. <laughs> Menacingly. I was <laughs> just standing there off the side like, Well, damn, Valkyrie. Looks like you got yourself a bit of a problem. I could maybe help you, but, uh... You know, uh, I just gotta... I need to... Compensate me for my efforts, if you know what I mean. Fucking call down lasers from space. All right, you know what? I think uh, I think you got this handled, Valkyrie. Um, take care? Question mark. If you go south from here, you will find the cockatrice's nest. But be wary, Battle Maiden. No! Ha! Fucking bees! I dodged it, Too and then I didn't side, dodge it. All right, let's heal. Heal. She's so dramatic whenever she casts spells. She's just like, ha, ha. 
don't know why my camera glitched right there. That was kind of weird. Mystic Cross. So it was... To the front. Hi! Fuck me, dude. Come on! I mean, I know I want to give my character some experience without draining all of my XP orb, but... Blood and ashes, you are really driving me up the wall with all your buzzing. We're gonna immediately get attacked by another couple of beetles. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, yep. What is this, Mega Man Battle Network with all its consecutive battles? We're gonna need you to delete this series of viruses. I won't lose. Don't you kill Ayla? You hurt my Lancer. I hurt your entire thorax. Mystic Cross. Get riggedy, 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 riggedy wrecked, yo. Our work here is done. Let's go. All right, we can do a bit of saving, but also we have gotten a few levels. So let's get our characters. A little bit of stats. All right, she is maxed out. Viseria, however, is not. Let's get her first aid maxed, because that would be nice. Get her avoid maxed out. Uh, fight is good in general. Uh, then we want anything that gives intelligence. Trick gives two, so it's a little mute, more efficient. Good shit. Um, we'll get her to level 20, and then we will swap in Suo, I think. So we can level him up as well. And also uh, go to a uh, two melee, one ranged, one archer, or one caster setup. Uh, let's make sure to save before we do any kind of boss battles. Also, if we're gonna go to a boss battle, let's mix things up a little bit. I think it's Dark Savior, no. Um, Shadow Servant. I think it's Shadow Servant is the one I'm thinking of. Treasure! Sap power. Nice. Uh... What the fuck? To the rear. Oh man, that is... That is a cockatrice. Yikes. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. 
That does not look like a chicken. Let's see some other great magic. No mercy for the dead. Some of them will escape from the breath of catastrophe. Just fucking drop some fucking meteors. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, I think we killed it. Anyone want some roast chicken? Nice. We got a single feather. Survive the meteor impacts. Um, all right, so that is not the skill I want her on. Dark Savior. I like better. All right, had to check. All right, so we got two of the items. Uh, we're missing one thing from the monkeys. And... Something else. I can't remember what it is. Either way, it's probably off to the right. Let's go to the front first. I'm gonna go front and then to the rear. I might be lost. Crab from the skies! They're parachuting crabs into the forest now. Those monsters. I love a good battle. I almost forgot. We gotta make sure to use dark magic. Okay. I didn't realize they would have different spells. Interesting. I thought it was just uh, great magic was whatever the um, whatever whatever element it was would determine the great magic. I didn't realize like. Some things within the great magic also had different ones. Well, now I gotta check out the other uh, holy spell one. Obviously, because that one didn't kill them, uh, the, the meteor strike is much better. No, I didn't charge up enough. <laughs> Get tripped, crab. Um, Mystic Crop. We'll just kill this one. And then this one. Good shit, good shit. No, not what I meant to do! I killed it. Doesn't matter. Uh, actually, you know what? I meant to do that. You said it, Mistina. Man, those crabs are having a lot of rapiers on them. Uh, I wonder if they're coming in from France. Not what I meant to do. Ability. 
Let's see what Sacred Javelin gives us as far as great magic. If you go south, you'll find the Great Spider's Nest. Okay. That's right, we need the spider and then the thing that was stolen by the monkeys. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Eh, ayo? That doesn't look like a mandraga. That looks like a woe mandraga. Actually, it looks more like an alarune, but you know. You do you, I suppose. All right, let's see what Sacred Javelin does. Ye of detestable name and virtue, false apostle, thou art fade back to the abyss. Okay. Apparently, it's still a big fuck you. Oh shit. Oh, they do damage. Uh, hmm. Yikes. All right. Um, let's try this again. All right. Now she's dead. Not good. Mmm, really not good. I fucked that up pretty bad. Um. Um. Mm, we're gonna. We're just gonna run away. Just a little bit of a skill issue there. Um, we are we out of are we out of Phoenix Downs? I think we are. Hmm. I can fix this. I can fix this. Wait, crack ring? Oh, easier to do guard crush. Um. I thought I could. Maybe I need the level two. Oh no, I have the wrong one equipped. This is the really good one. Combos, gem activity, no. Material potion? No. Actually. Sure. Noble elixir. It's good, but not what we need. We need to go back and... Get to that save point so I can get some... Uh... B 
Phoenix sounds. This is awkward. I knew I was forgetting to buy stuff. Seems to be out of those months of stream. I don't know why I still don't have guts and it's driving me mad. I should have had it like chapters ago. I don't know if I just forgot to transmute something or or what the heck happened, but uh, it has been kind of a bugger and it's a pretty important skill. I get lost again, son of a bugger. All right, 